Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a sample report using complete Python in Power BI. First thing, I'm getting the data from an Excel file using Python and then I'm summarizing the data and then I'm creating a pie chart and column chart. It's very short video and a very simple code I'm going to use. Keep watching. Before getting the data inside Power BI using Python, let me show you the data which I'm going to use for this example. This spreadsheet data I'm going to use. This data containing almost 8,000 rows and revenue by city and also duration by city and other columns are there. But I'm going to summarize this data in Power BI using Python by city revenue and duration. And then I'm going to use that data for creating a column chart and a pie chart. Now let me start with a new page. There I am getting the data. So get data, more options, and then select Python option. And I'm going to type this Python code. So the file location I need to keep in mind. So I'm importing pandas as pd and then I'm creating a variable called my data equal pd that means using pandas read the excel file and the excel file is residing in this location d python tutorials and then power bi advanced dashboard advanced the file name was file name is dashboard advanced dot xlsx now i need to summarize this data and convert into a small uh, table i'm using pivot table function so summary equal pd dot pivot table and i need to use the column starting column is city so based on the my data index is equal city and then I need uh, aggregation that is sum aggregation function that is sum and then I need to keep the name of the city as part of the table so reset underscore index this is a function and this code is enough to get the data inside power bi now I'm going to get two tables one is my data another is summary my data is containing complete data what you have seen in excel file and summary what i want the way uh, in a table manner uh, in a table form let me press ok it will take a while to process because it is it, is, it needs to negotiate with excel file and now you can see there are two items one is my data if i select my data the data which is uh, lying in excel spreadsheet all those 8000 rows actually are coming here but i don't want that i want summary so if i select summary the summary is basically coming by city by duration by i mean this is not required by me i can eliminate it but to show you quickly i'm just uh, i've created a simpler code i'm anyway going to use only duration and revenue and city press load so that this data will be loaded to the power bi and the summary table is now in power bi if you look at the data sheet view the data is appearing like this the next part is creating the report let me go to the report view and then adding a pi visual or python visual since i am creating two charts let me take only half of the canvas and then i need to add city and then duration sorry let me take revenue so i'm going to create a column chart so there i need to import a library that is mat plot lib as mb next another uh, library that is mat 
plot lib pi plot as plt. Then I need to actually give the font size a little bigger because by default the size of the font will be very small when you are creating charts in Python. For that, I need to say mb that means the matplotlib dot rc parameters that is basically the styling font size equal 19 so this will take care of the font size of the chart then i need to call the data first is numbers equal since the data frame is named as data set i'm going to use the data set and then i need to get into the columns and rows that is location and i have uh, seven rows of the data if you look at my data this is three plus four seven rows so i need to say please take zero to six rows comma and column name because i'm using numbers and i've selected the column revenue so revenue and i need to make it as a list so that i can use it in a chart the same way i need to say names equal data set dot location so again i need to say 0 to 6 that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 that way it is counted and the column name is city and then this has to be converted into a list now we need to create the column chart so plt dot bar so i need to give first uh, names and then numbers and then color equal red because all bars should uh, appear with red color and then width width of that uh, column equal say point zero point five if i say plt dot show this is the function and if i run this code the column chart is ready now i am creating a pie chart but i'm not writing the code again i'm actually taking this only this part of the code then let me add a another pie visual keep this on the sorry i think i've selected wrongly the picture so unselect everything and then select pi oh again it is done yeah let me remove this pi for some reason it is taking so it's okay let it be that's not a problem so let me add this here i think it is not uh, it's basically getting take that place taking that place so that is an issue now i need to add this time i need to add uh, city and then duration and then let me add the code as it is which i have pasted from copied from there small things need to be changed for example this is not revenue now this is duration because i've selected the duration city is fine and now i'm using a pie chart so this code alone i need to just remove and I need to write the remaining pie chart uh, attributes that is first numbers will come then labels are uh, say uh, names then I need to get percentage of that uh, duration on our each slice for that auto percentage equal so the format is 0 0.1 floating value and then explode equal let me add seven zeros first then i'll explode any one piece and uh, that is all now if i use this code i mean i have not not written any code as such i have just copied the earlier code and changed only some portion and if i press run this code the pie chart will be ready If you look at the chart percentage there is only single decimal so that is what this code is talking about single uh, the float float value that means the decimal and uh, we can also convert it, this into a number using lambda function which I have discussed in another video 
the link will be given in the description you can watch that video as well and this way you can very quickly create a nice report i'm coming up with many more videos on uh, python plus power bi so that keep watching to get notified you should subscribe if you have not yet subscribed yet kindly subscribe and please share with many and keep watching and thank you very much for watching this video